two so minutes yeah one, so block one it it starts with unit one so the kind of questions that actually comes here is mainly in in and around this orga morgan's uh, eight metaphors what is organization how organization can be viewed in various ways kind of a thing so this is the most important thing and the other thing that comes is this organizational psychology scope of organizational psychology so uh, so it is like uh, going into the details in terms of uh, like what are the aspects that are covered in the organization leaders work motivation job satisfaction so basically for answer for this question is names of all the units that we are going to read down actually speaking right we have a unit related to motivation unit related to commitment job satisfaction leadership group behavior work stress all those things whatever that are coming in the in the ob as units is all covered under the scope of organizational psychology so next is definition and importance of organizational behavior so here also the kind of questions so this is not as important as the other unit but still there are actually questions that come important aspects are this cross cultural approach how are ob adopts that cross cultural approach why the diversity is important and all those stuff okay characteristics of ob what are the typical characteristic of ob right so it seeks the betterment of human resource it does have contingency approach and these kind of all it is like open system and multi disciplinary focus and all those stuff so typical characteristics which boost whatever the ob thing is and what is ob in the context of indian indian context this is also asked twice okay so um, so it's like mainly contextualizing the ob from the point of view of indian stuff okay uh, but same mm-hmm. old thing in a different way um, so now going into the unit Can you go three. back once oh sorry you need to right yes yeah the questions yeah one second explain how organizational behavior adopts a cross cultural approach that has been asked right and uh, below that below that is there where is it adopts a cross cultural approach it is not where how it is one of the characteristics of ob correct oh so this is uh, this, this one Oh okay okay. Take care. Hey, I'm feeling this or the Indian context might not come because it came in June 2021. No. That's why chances of this coming is more when compared to chances of the characteristic of OB because mm-hmm. characteristics of OB came December 2021. Mm. This is the immediate paper. Mm. This is one year old. So mm. the pattern is see for example if you see here see the pattern yeah it's repeated june 2019 repeated in june 2020 mm, okay thanks but there is no way no where that it came in december 2019 again it came in june 2020 that it will not happen mm. so the chances of this question coming the characteristic is less when compared to this indian context actually speaking okay so that's how let's it move forward is. okay moving forward fundamental concepts of ob in this types of organization is one aspect okay short term long term uh, conservation recruitment relief etc etc right so types of organization fundamental concepts of ob related to nature of people right so nature of people individual differences differences in perception as a whole person motivated behavior value of the person etc etc so this is another question which is important okay paradigm shift 
okay so i think the name paradigm shift itself talks about what exactly the paradigm shift is supposed to be right so it, it's about thinking out of the box thinking very very differently than what it was happening before maybe some technology update etc etc would have changed the way organization think about their operations all together that is what is the paradigm shift so now we are going into fourth um, fourth one questions i think here we need to get it okay so what are the various so fourth one these are the questions which i have highlighted right so this is this is part of various types of organizational behavior models so different models which is autocratic model custodial model supportive collegial models so this is one part which actually comes okay and uh, so in this explain three types of the models so again this is in and around the same types right type of the model compare these models okay so it could be like so comparing supportive model custodial model comparing autocratic model collegial model so discuss the collegial model auto discuss the autocratic model in and around this chapter is only these four models and comparison okay, okay. so so this is what this particular unit is covering okay so now going into the next unit which is no. jobs so now various aspects of ob is coming into picture it starts with job satisfaction so it talks about this is one of the unimportant topic not very very frequently asked so nobody is worried about our satisfaction basically so there are four possible questions not very much repeated across but what is job satisfaction what is intrinsic and extrinsic i think intrinsic and extrinsic is applicable in all whether it is motivation whether it is job satisfaction wherever it is right how job satisfaction can be measured okay so relationship between job satisfaction and life satisfaction okay this is what is the job satisfaction aspect so now we are going into work motivation so in the work motivation again it starts with the definition of work motivation it classifies the work motivation motivation is the most important aspect as far as the entire ob syllabus is concerned it does have three units covering motivation part okay so uh, so motivation is the widely asked concept which includes what is the motivation what is the motivation process what is the nature of motivation what are the classification of motivation what is the general model of the motivation so 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 this is all about motivation right so so if you quickly see right we talked about that motivation ability combinedly giving the uh, results kind of thing in, intrinsic and extrinsic and it does have two types of models one is content based uh, i mean two types of theory one is con content based uh, the theory and the other one is process uh, process based models right so next unit is going into those particular model related aspects which goes into the content theories of motivation uh, and also process theories of motivation it explains maslow's needs theory erg theory hygiene theory mcleod's learned needs theory where this power achievement affliction and all those uh, form that uh, circles which overlap with each other job characteristic model okay and then reinforcement is talked about right positive reinforcement negative reinforcement punishment extinction schedules of reinforcement basically how these reinforcements are given in in uh, whether in a continuous manner or intermittent manner kind of a thing okay then goes into the commitment part again it defines commitment what is the commitment when commitment really <laughs> happens there are personal reasons for commitment there are work reasons for commitment and what if what is the commitment is all about and it also tells that commitment is much much bigger word when compared to job satisfaction so there is a diff, there is a relationship or rather there is a comparison between commitment and job satisfaction right and then that actually concludes the second one okay so second block is all about the personal 
aspects of an employee when it comes to behavior right i mean as an employee my job satisfaction my motivation my commitment it is personal aspects now block 3 goes into group aspects so group aspect what are the group aspects leadership okay how change is managed by the org how teams are managed how conflicts are resolved so these are the things the group aspects are talked about in the block 3 and then it goes into the learning aspects and miscellaneous catch all kind of a thing in case of 4 so in case of 3 when it comes to leadership we went through and understood what is the classification of leadership types of leadership basically right uh, executive self appointed and then uh, the on the based of purpose etc based of the nature and what are the factors which are going to actually part of leadership what are the characteristics of the leadership okay and what are the various approaches right based approach authoritarian approach like at system managerial grid uh, path goal approach and all these things various things and then we went to team building we understood 12 c's of team building which is an important aspect okay and then and then we went into so once the team building is done change management so this talks about how exactly organization should manage change i mean what is management it starts with what is management and what are the functions of management and then goes into change management what are the typical issues that come out of change management important part here is this quarter's eight steps to successful change this is going to be an important one okay and there are 10 uh, consents for change there are facts that you need to remember there are five basic principles of change which you need to remember right so basically that is about change and then we go to team management again this 12 c's comes into picture this is the most important aspect of it otherwise this chapter is very very poor as far as the repetition is concerned only thing that is asked again and again is the methods of creating the effective team okay so methods of creating the effective team you are going to create a better work breakdown structure right you need to practice good communication listen well observe carefully give feedback okay set the ground rules first so that people can interact create the team mission statement all those fundas really come into picture on how exactly what are the methods to create an effective team okay so now we are we finished uh, team management now resolving conflicts okay so resolving conflicts the type of questions that are coming is this what is a conflict what are the various sources of conflicts what are the steps involved in resolving the conflict techniques to resolve the conflict right so there are five styles of dealing with the conflict which came in our uh, practicals as well so unlikely that it is going to come to our exam so the most likely question for our exam is techniques to resolve work workplace conflict okay so uh, so when it comes to techniques to resolve workplace conflict bargaining negotiating bargain range negotiated rule making negotiated dilemma mediation so these are some of the techniques related to conflict resolution okay so so that is about the and the other i mean th this is preventive techniques and positive outcome techniques personality uh, conflict and resolution these are the other aspects to it so now going into the next one which is learning um so let me go back okay so now fourth block where learning and motivation is being highlighted first thing is principles of learning we talked about those uh, the basic uh, theories in terms of behavioristic theory social learning theory okay and uh, in behavioral theory classical conditioning operant conditioning cognitive mapping okay social learning theory we have like general principles of social learning bandura's reinforcement model where you see from the others and that would also make a difference kind of a thing 
okay so uh, there is some chimpanzee experiment which talks about trial and error kind of a thing right and uh, you have uh, i mean thorndike's law of effect reinforcement schedules of reinforcement okay and it talks about extinction okay so various things that comes into picture as far as the extinction is concerned okay so and then um we obm this is like a motherhood process which is going to manage the change for the organization this is an important uh, procedure uh, to actually when something is not working this is one of the process or intervention that is going to be triggered so it does have a plan aspect uh, there is a five steps which are associated with that particular plan uh, with that particular program and there is an ethical aspect why exactly somebody has a trouble with ethics and what are the reasons why you you are saying that it is ethical enough okay motivation this is repetition of motivation theories in in fact so there is nothing very specific about this particular chapter okay and then we today we learned this process of motivation for higher moral where there is a work scheduling that we talked about and then employee ownership quality circles high involvement these are the four aspects that were talked about so that is ob in on a whole